Right, use the information above and annex to E to answer the questions that follow. The tourist location details in random order for the tour are given below. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Complete the table below by inserting the tourist location details in the correct order. Okay, so they've done the first and the sixth one for us, but we have to do the ones in between. Okay, I'm just going to write them in here. Obviously, you need to write them in your answer book, but let's do this together. Okay, so zero, 01 is A, so they start in Tokyo. Okay, then they go here. The only information we have here is the um, speed limit. There does seem to be something here. I can't see it, but let's see if we have enough information. So let's look down. I'm just seeing the 40 kilometers there. So it says drive through Katamura at a speed not exceeding 40 kilometers per hour. So that is going to then be F because that coincides with what we're looking at on this infographic. Then they go here. This is a mountain. So we're thinking that it has something to do with a mountain. Let's go down. It says visit Mount Fujiyama. Okay. The others say the largest aquarium. The, nope, that doesn't make sense, right? So this one is Mount Fujiyama. So we literally are just outlining what we see. Over here, there's a temple and there's a 100 um, kilometer per hour uh, speed restriction. So let's see. Um, visit the world's largest aquarium, it's not that, and says at Nara they plan to visit the large wooden temple and deer park. That sounds about right, so that's going to be D. Then the fifth one, we see some fish, so it's probably going to be the aquarium. So let's go and find the aquarium. The aquarium is C. So we have, we've accounted for everything now, A, B, C, D, E, F. Obviously, we can't do E or A because they were already put in. Right, so it's only the other ones that we need to put in. Okay, so not too difficult, but basically you're you're saying this is what I see and this is the order that it implies. Let's move on to the last two questions here. Well, one question, two sub questions. Mount Fuji, right, um, is an active volcano. The last volcanic eruption was on 16 December 1707, and it followed several weeks after an earthquake on 11 November 1707, okay? It says calculate how many decades, what does a decade mean? It means 10 years. Um, how many decades ago Mount Fuji erupted? Now, this paper that we're doing now was written in 2022, not in 2023, even though that's when I'm filming. So we're gonna compare this to 2022. So we're gonna start by saying 5.2.1, 2022 minus 1707, okay? And let's put that in here, 2022 minus 1707, and that is 315 years. But it wants it to know this amount in decades. This is not in decades. We need to divide this by 10, right? Do that on your calculator. And that will give us the number of decades, right? So be careful because students would do this and think they're done. It asks for the amount in decades. So that is that done. And let's go do the last question of this video. Write down the total number of days between the earth between the earthquake and the last volcanic eruption. Okay, so remember there was a volcanic eruption then, and there was an earthquake then. So we basically need to say, well, how many days is it from the 11th of November until the 16th of December? Now, how many days are there in November? Here's a little trick for you. Okay, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Now, everything in between, right, the knuckles, those are months with 30 days. Obviously, February has 28 days. Everything on the knuckle is 31 days. So, November has 30 days. So, we're going to say 30 days in November minus the 11th, minus 11 days. So, there were 19 days from the 11th of November until the end of November. And then there were 16 days, right? So that's November. Then there were obviously 16 days, right? There were 16 days in December. Now, I'm saying 16, but actually you shouldn't include the day that it actually happened. It should be the days in between because it did say there the days between. So actually, this should be 15 days in December that we're accounting for, okay? So 19 in November, 15 in December, add them together. And your answer is 34 days between the earthquake in November 
and the volcano in December.